Well hello, welcome to my vlog. This is part two of my Abu Dhabi vlog and we're starting a little bit less glamorous this time with a visit to the Emirates Park Zoo. This was incredible because there's so many animals and you can feed every single one of them. So it's the first zoo that we've ever been to that does that. You just pay a couple of pounds for some special grass that you give them. I thought it was such a cool idea. Hello mate. <laughs> no, it's for your mate. It's for your mate. We managed to catch the sheep and goats feeding time, so that was quite special. What I still can't get over is that we could feed the giraffes with the same grass that we'd bought and there wasn't a fee to get this close to them. It was absolutely incredible. It was something that in the UK you would pay hundreds of pounds for because it was a private experience as well. We were the only people feeding them at that time. The others have to wait their turn outside the gate. It was incredible and here they are running around. I've never seen giraffes run. It felt once in a lifetime. They did try and sell you pictures but Honestly, they were letting us take pictures with our phones as well, so it wasn't even a big thing. Wow, I've never seen them before. Oh my god. It's so funny because they're so majestic, but they still look like they're going to fall over any minute. <laughs> they just look a little bit awkward as well. I'm not too close. Okay. Next up were these camels. Now we have ridden camels in the desert before in Dubai, but they didn't have much personality, unlike these guys who are play fighting and trying to get the food over the other one. I thought they were quite charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> They had Bengal and Siberian tigers, my favourite animals ever. I think they're so majestic and gorgeous. Have a good time. <laughs> I would really recommend coming in the evening. It's so much quieter. You can actually feed the animals without a queue and it was so much cooler. I mean, I was still warm, but I would not like to walk around in the heat of the day. Next up was the dinner with the elephants experience. We paid for this experience and it was with a couple of other couples, but they didn't turn up. So we ended up having a private experience. It was incredible. And these guys meet you before you go in. So there's a little show included. This is the most surreal thing Joe and I have ever done. We're sat having a meal, just us two. Some elephants just watching us. <laughs> And you can just pay to have this meal and then you get to feed the elephants after food. This is just our starters. We're not that like, hungry, so I feel really bad. We've got mains coming after this. Weirdest thing ever. The most amazing thing ever. It feels like, we feel so out of place. So cool, you just watch the elephants while you eat. So Joe managed to get some footage. He left the phone on the table. It is in portrait mode, so sorry about that. But look at this. You just feed the elephants a bucket of watermelon. They absolutely love it. And this experience is 120 pounds for the both of us. So I swear in the UK, you would pay thousands for this private experience. What an opportunity. And these elephants are the only Indian elephants in the Middle East. They used to be in the circus. They were very badly mistreated and the government took the elephants away from the circus when it was shut down and gave them to the zoo to look after. So I'm really happy that they are happy now. But as you can see, the ears have got a couple of gaps in them. That's because they were pulled with a rod. They just used to hook the ears to do tricks. So these elephants can actually ride on a unicycle because they were trained to do that.
This lady was fantastic. She was the educator, so if you needed to know anything about these elephants, she knew about them. The trainer that was actually with them was with them in the circus because they need familiarity. They need to be with someone that they remember. So the trainer was actually with us which i found incredible because he was the one that abused them but she said that he'd learnt his lesson and he wasn't very educated in her words <laughs> and this was happening i think 25 30 years ago so he was getting on but he was still with them so that they felt comfortable at the zoo so there was a photographer that took lots of photos of us they were expensive but worth every penny and joe got a bit of a bargain on them as well he struck a bit of a deal <laughs> but this is a night we will never forget So in the morning, Joe went down to the beach. I'd like to say that I was with him. This was about 7 a.m. But I was tucked up in bed. <laughs> this is just something that Joe likes to do. He likes to go clear his head in the morning. And he has a little bit of a swim. I'm just happy that he's happy doing it on his own, to be honest. <laughs> because I'd much rather have my bed at that time. On this day, we headed to the Louvre Museum. There is one in Paris and one in Abu Dhabi, so we thought we would check it out. Joe is more of a museum buff than I am. I just go for a little walk around and hope that there's a cafe. <laughs> Your trip amount is 15.75 dirhams. We're just turning up to the Louvre Museum. It's huge. About 30 degrees. And a fun fact about this museum is that it's all chronologically ordered. So you won't find a room of just Egyptians. You will find Romans in with the Egyptians. Everything's together in the time that it happened. So that's quite unique. This is what you presented with before you even enter the museum. So it's quite striking. The building's amazing. I love the architecture of the museums themselves. Sometimes it wows me more than the things that I'm looking at. <laughs> What I really can't get on board with is abstract art that just looks like scribbles, as you can tell by my face at the end of this clip. We noticed there is absolutely tons of Claude Monet and Van Gogh, so if you like that sort of thing, you will love this museum. Once you've seen everything, you are led to this part, which is supposed to look like a floating roof. And there's actually nine layers of aluminium and steel in this roof. That night we went to a boxing match at the Etihad Arena so this was something that Joe wanted to do and I was up for it because there isn't much entertainment in Abu Dhabi at night. One thing we were amazed by in this arena is the seats are absolutely amazing. They're leather and they're dead comfy, like the comfiest seats you could imagine. And we were quite far back, so we didn't have great seats, but they make sure everyone's comfortable. So that made my night because being pregnant, the backache is real. <laughs> We spotted boxer Anthony Joshua getting into the crowd, getting pictures with everyone. That's him in the middle if you can spot him. So that was quite cool. What I was surprised about is that there were so many empty seats throughout the whole night. You would think that this would be sold out. Especially considering that Abu Dhabi is a very rich country, there's lots of millionaires here. But I'm not sure Eddie Hearn would have been too pleased because he's the promoter for this and he was trying to obviously sell the place out. We did actually meet him, he was staying in our hotel so that was extremely cool. Very exciting moment for Joe. One of the bigger fights included one of our homegrown boxers, this is Chantel Cameron, so it was really cool to have someone from the UK. But then it was main fight time and this was about 1 or 2 a.m. It was super late. Oh. 
So the atmosphere did ramp up a little bit, but my first and only fight that I've seen live was at Wembley Stadium and it was Tyson Fury. So I think my expectations were a bit too high, but it was just a little bit lacklustre. There needed to be more people in the audience. Plus by this point, I could see people falling asleep. It was so late and it got to about half past two. It was round six and Joe just said, let's go because I'm worried about you being awake so long being pregnant. So we left halfway through the main fight. I can't believe it. These Russian fans were absolutely loving it. They must have had a couple of Red Bulls. The walk back to the taxi was amazing because this is at Yas Marina where the arena was. And look at this, what a sculpture. I've never seen anything like it. That's it for part two. Don't forget to tune in to part three of my Abu Dhabi vlog next Friday. And don't forget to subscribe for more travel vlogs. Thanks for watching.